What is up everyone, Kadixis here. Welcome back to Neglige. That's how you fucking pronounce it. I knew I heard or seen the word before, but last episode, I'm just, it's like, what? Fuck it, it was two in the morning, man. Like, I could not think. It's like such an obscure word. But anyways, yes, welcome back to Neglige. And, um, so... What we were doing last time is we, we, we were looking at, like, some... Whew, whew, and I was very much debating on whether to even continue this game or not, but I said, why not? Well, let's just go as far as we can and see what the hell happens. But anyway, so I was alerted last time, so I wanted to comment that by looking at the phone, we actually fucked up a third of the game or something. So let's not do that this time, and let's actually just continue looking for the sign like a good person would. Oh boy, but uh, it, I don't know, man. Like last time, uh, all that spice so soon? Who? Anyways, nope. Whatever's in those letters, it's not my problem. Yeah, because it would have taken. Oh boy. Anyways, uh, I shove them back into the drawer with the phone. If Karen needs them, maybe she'll come back for them one day. It's time to find that sign. Okay, let's do that. I hate this place when the door is closed. It's always so creepy. But that sign has to be back here somewhere. And, of course, it's right here in plain sight. See, like, the sign wasn't even in there. Like, come on, man. Uh, anyways, uh, like, we were, we, we, we spent our time in that office for, like, no damn reason. I should have looked in here from the beginning. I pulled out the sign, blowing off the thick layer of dust. Help wanted. It's just been me and Karen for so long, I don't know if I remember how to work with other people. Going through introductions and weeding out the ones with bad chemistry, bad work ethic, bad breath? Oh. There's so much to consider. I've never had to actually hire anyone myself before. Karen had such a talent for it, I mean, I'm wait. Yeah, I'm a stellar example of that, right? I don't know. Last time you you were doing some questionable things in the workplace, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> Can't call you. Uh, gotta see you work harder, my girl. Cause last time, ooh, ooh. I saw you taking the sign out to the front room to prop it up in the window. Guess it's my turn now. There. I fixed the sign in place. Only a few minutes to spare. I should change. Out of habit, I go put on my apron. Ah, oh, wait. It's a little strange for the manager. We'll we see in this part, so we can skip it, right? Or is that that's quick save? Skip. Okay, there, there we go. We see in that part. So, right. I stand in the middle of the front room, blinking into the empty shop. I'm not sure what I was expecting. G guess I can just clean the, in the meantime, I guess. Like, I got nothing else to do. Such a slow morning. Why are Mondays always like this? How do we miss a character? Everything seems to you know the same. I don't know, man. It's a perfectly valid day to buy some risque underwear. It doesn't always have to happen on Thursdays or Fridays, though those seem busiest. Gotta prepare for our all... Oh god, uh, it's not even near in the morning, well kinda, it's like 10, but that don't count. Anyways, gotta prepare for all those hot weekend dates. Ugh. I doodle on a notepad absentmindedly, trying to pass time. Ching! A shop bell chime making me snap to attention like my drill surgeon just walked in, oh boy. Oh, hello. A high school student? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> shouldn't she be in school? Yeah, shouldn't you be in school, miss? I round the counter to speak with her anyway. Hello. Welcome to Negligé. Have you shopped with us before? What? Uh, yeah, I totally love it here. Um, I actually stopped in to ask about the sign in the window. Oh? Didn't expect to get... Ah, uh, interest so quickly. You hear about the job? J sure. What uh? What is the job exactly? Why are you so skittish? Uh, let's save. Uh, I mean, I guess we could save over the last one. 
why not? Anyways, oh no. Uh, sure, uh, I don't even know. What, what, what is this character? I, I gotta give her a voice, but I don't know what exactly she's aiming. She looks shy at first, but she seems suspicioso. Anyways, let's see. Um, sure, what, uh, what is the job exactly? Restocking shelves, assisting customers with purchases, working the register. Fairly basic retail, really. No, our schedule may be a little difficult to navigate around a high school student's schedule. Uh, how old are you? N no, I'm not a high school student. I'm 18, but my college has strict uniform policy as well. Oh, I I've never heard of college with uniform. I mean, maybe. I don't know, man. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Trust me, you're not the first person I've had to explain this to. She scratches the back of her head neck. Um... The bell behind her jingles again. A couple of customers enter. Huh, I'm afraid I don't have time at the moment, but I am very short... Uh, I am very short-staffed. You wouldn't be able to come back later, would you? I'll be closing up early at 8. That's fine. She beams looking so excited just for the chance. Great, we'll have to a chance to talk properly then. Um, here, bring this with you if you can. I pull out an application from beneath the counter, bringing dust and- Oh god, how long has that been there? Bringing dust and cobwebs with it. Uh, we really haven't hired anyone in so long, have we? Jesus, sorry, I'll- Thank you! It's snatched away before I can even get a different one. I'll come back with this tonight. Thank you so much! Wait, didn't- Uh, I didn't have a chance to catch your name. Oh! Right, sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. I'm Charlotte. Nice to meet you. I'm Hannah. I'll see you tonight, if you have the time. She gives a nod and grins before she spins and leaves the shop. Alrighty. I thought it would take a lot longer than that. And maybe I was a little hasty in scheduling an interview. But I really do need the help around here. I'm taking initiative. The sooner I find help, the better. That done, I steer myself into retail mode once more, greeting the customers that enter. Welcome to Negligé! Oh boy. Who would have thought being a manager is so easy? All I have to do is fight off a crushing weight of boredom and try not to think about the fact that I've listened to the same ten pop songs on repeat for six hours straight. That's retail. Ah, oh, god damn it. It is getting a bit lonely. <laughs> oh, lord, that's loud. Hmm? I fish around my pocket, wondering who's calling me at this time. Emily, why didn't she just use the store phone? Hello? Hannah! My most faithful employee of the month. I I'm the only employee. <laughs> How's everything going at the shop? Uh, everything's fine. It's a bit of a slow day. Good. Well, not good. But at least you're not drowning having to deal with all this by yourself. I read it in the business owner's guide to women's underwear stores that the secret to a successful business is support, support, support. Okay. Get it? Support! Like, a bra? God damn it. Is that a joke or is she serious? Uh, anyway, I found a special someone who I think you might want to meet. Uh, your date? Oh no, that was a complete bust. Oh, that was fast. Ah, he was a dog person, and I'm clearly a cat person. Yeah, clearly you're a cat person. Plus, he has a cactus collection. What the fuck? I think that's a ve very telling about his personality, don't you? Nothing about a cactus collection screams young and fun-loving, as was written on his profile in all caps. Hm, his entire profile was essentially a complete lie. It wasn't meant to be. Oh, okay. Uh, then who am I meeting exactly? Oh, right. A friend's daughter is looking for a job. Her name is, uh, Sarah? S Serena? I hear her mutter under her breath. Is she counting her fingers? What? Why? Sophie! That's the one. You don't have to give her any special favors, of course. I don't need anyone breathing down my neck for inappropriate hiring practices. <laughs> but if you could give her an interview, I think that would be very nice. Okay. 
How about tonight? Close up a little early and I'll send her by to meet with you. That's fine. I already have another applicant coming by named Charlotte around that time. Perfect! Great minds think alike! We are one. Oh, uh, yeah. We are one. We are the collective. Don't get weird on me, Hannah. Oh. Ah, now hugs and kisses and good luck with the rest of your day. R right. Bye. Ciao, ciao. Oh, that was something. I, I stare at the phone as Emily hangs up. Well, I guess this is a good thing. Two applicants already. I might have helped sooner rather than later. That's good. Such a long day. My feet are killing me and I think my smile is stuck on the how can I help you setting. Oh. I massage my cheeks. Mm. The street outside. <gasps> God damn it. <sighs> it's mostly empty. There'll be a few late shoppers milling about. I see their faces illuminated in the glow of their phones. I should go ahead and close up. It still looks laid down there to me. Anyways, <laughs> I go to <laughs> turn the side around and officially put an end to the day. Okie dokie. I guess being a manager isn't too difficult after. Oh, what? My face collides with a glass door, my nose crying. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, you're you're nice anyways. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm an idiot. I wasn't even looking. Are you okay? Through my watering eyes, I see the girl look mortified. Uh, is it bleeding? She pries my hands away. Not that I can tell. I think I just gave you a Good bump. I massage my nose tenderly, trying to smile through the tears. Anyway, how can I help you today? I was just about to close, but... She hesitates. I'm really not off to the greatest of starts, so I probably shouldn't even bother, should I? What is she talking about? Uh, ah, I came to ask about the job position. I know it's late, and I already kind of assaulted you with a door, so... I should just see myself out, shouldn't I? N no, no, it was an accident. Really, come in. You must be pretty desperate for help. Well, I'm not gonna turn someone away over an accident. If you're sure, then I'm gonna hope it's not the conclusion. Uh, ta uh concussion talking, my bad. I'm Jasmine, by the way. For a second, I think she holds out both her hands to shake, but... That's just double vision. Oh, Jesus, see it be good then. I take a guess and shake one. Nice to meet you, I'm Hannah. So, are you the manager? I am. Oh, that feels good to say. <laughs> I have a couple other applicants coming in right now, so if you have time to hang around for a bit. Yes, of course. I gotta sort these voices. Anyways, I finally turned the clothes side around and shut the door, massaging my new headache. How am I even supposed to interview these girls? What kind of questions do I ask? I don't fucking know. I'll just have to wing it. No time to prepare anyway. Oh, it's that girl again. Hello. She looks timid, but she's suspicious. I don't know what voice to give you. I brought my application form. Um... Do they have the same outfit? I think they do. How do I? Oh yeah, H. Yeah, are you like from the same school? Whoa, 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 what is this? Whoa, 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 what is this? Anyways, um, I, I, I gotta, I gotta sort these voices, but I gotta get the personalities more to give them a voice. Well, I, uh, I guess I can give them a somewhat voice for now. Uh, I don't know about this one. I, I guess I can give her the more hype voice. I, I don't know. Um, oh, who are you? Ah! Oh, Sophie, uh, you, you look, are you all from, like, the same school? What, 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 what is this? Anyways, she looks more mature, so I can give her a mature voice, I guess. Um, is it okay to come in? The signs is closed, but I was told to come at this time. Everyone is getting here at once. It's fine, please come in. You are all interested in the position, so let's, let's what? <laughs> I didn't actually plan anything. My nose throbs lamely as I try to think through what to do with all these girls. Three sets of eyes stare back at me expectantly, the sweat sliding down my neck. Uh, let's go ahead and start by introducing ourselves. I'll go first. I'm Hannah. I've worked here at Negligee for almost three years. I live in the city and, uh, 
I like hobby. Your hobbies are masturbating in public. Anyways, uh, hobbies. What are my hobbies? My interest? I like, uh, glance around the room hastily. Underwear? Underwear? What kind of answer is that? Oh boy, so this is obviously the job for me. If you're not comfortable with handling underwear, clean underwear, mind you, then you wouldn't really be able to handle this job. Is that a common concern? What? Have other people applied here aren't comfortable with underwear? Uh, yes. Yes, they have. So we like to be super upfront about what this job entails. Wow, who would do that? <laughs> I guess some people are really desperate. In this economy, who would blame them? It's not like people who clean out port uh, porta potties are comfortable with. I mean, I don't know about that. that, that that's a bit extra. Uh, handling underwear is one thing, but cleaning out shit? <laughs> that's a whole nother story. Uh, anyway, why don't we go around and you can all introduce yourselves? Let's start with you, Charlotte. Anything to get the spotlight off my blundering ass? Uh, I get the attention of the three cute girls at the same time, and I just fall apart. Charlotte looks a little bit nervous, but she clears her throat. Um, hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm 18, and I go to the local college here in town. I'm going... Like, they all go to the, like, look, they all got the same outfit, like, do they not, like, know, I mean, it's, it's possible they don't know each other, but it's like, uh, I don't know, man, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I like going out occasionally. She practically gasps. But I have a very dedicated worth ethic. I'll do anything required, including clean out bathrooms and, and mopping floors and whatever else is needed or needs doing. She's so suspicious. What is this? I won't shy away from any task. <laughs> Yikes, are you going to salute on top of that? Sophie grins at the smaller girl, who just clenches her fist in response. If that's what it takes. Ah, okay, okay, there's no need to get so uh, to get spirited. Sophie, why don't you go next? We haven't had the pleasure of meeting yet. Hey, hey, everybody. I'm Sophie. We must go to the same college, right? Wow, she's certainly a beacon for attention, isn't she? Um, that's right. I'm a first-year student. Second year, here. Guess that's why we haven't bumped into each other. Uh, I'm about to say, why did the music stop? <laughs> I'm about to say, is some shit about to get real? <laughs> I don't know. It just song just looped. So... Real talk, I'm only here because my mom is making me scout out jobs, so... Uh... So you don't really want the job. Wait. Hold on a second. Uh, whoa, whoa, wait, hold on a second. I don't know how to... Is there like a... Thing to... I don't know. I think it just said the twice, but I can't confirm that because I don't have a text log or anything and I don't want to press anything to skip it. So... I really want to know if that's it, the twice or if I'm fucking up, but anyways. I wasn't that into the idea at first, but hey, I wasn't told up front that it would be, uh, that it was a lingerie store. You have my interest now. Oh. I'm going to give it a shot after all. Alright. What are the hours, though? I didn't really ask that many questions. We'll have to figure out schedules. Working around your class schedule shouldn't be too difficult. Oh good, I doubt it will be a problem for me either. I only have the odd class each week. So yeah, uh, guess I'm in this for real now. I'm not sure how I feel about that one. I'm not sure how I feel about any of them yet. I like this one, she seems fine. You're suspicious. Why well, like, she acted really skittish and questionable. And her, she, 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 I don't know about her. Anyways, uh, hope Emily doesn't really expect me to hire her. Yeah, I'm not so sure about her. But pressing on. Jasmine, what about you? Um, she still side eyes Sophie. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, she's 21. My <laughs> girl, what's good? <laughs> 
I'm Jasmine. I'm 21 years old. No college for me. So what? Whoa, 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 what's with the uniform? Ah, no college for me. So I should have free schedule. I've been working nights though, and the hours are pretty bad. I'd like to get an on a normal sleep schedule for once. So, oh, but the uniform. Oh, uh, yeah. That's that's just part of my current job. What? Really? Do you work at the university? No, nothing like that. Oh shit. Ah! Ah! Oh, these questionable decisions! We have to save! Because it seems like this is a game we have to experiment with. Let it go, push for information, man. I am a little bit curious. I, I feel like. I feel like last time should have been. Last time should have been the little warning sign to not push for information since I apparently missed. A whole girl or something, but we can always have the power of reloading because I don't know. Let, let, let's just push for information. What do you do then? Does it actually matter? Past employment is fairly standard question. Yeah, it, it really is. All employers ask what is your previous job. It helps us understand if you have a previous experience or valuable skills. I'm a dancer at a local club. What do you mean by that? You're a stripper? <laughs> Ooh. Ah, uh, well, ah, uh, hmm. Uh, I called you my girl, but I don't know about that now. I mean, stripping? Ah, uh, hmm. I don't know about any of these girls anymore now. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> I I get. Oh, that's. I'm not sure if that's dirty or that's a compliment. I'm pretty sure that's dirty. You look like a stripper. Ah, uh, no, that's that is dirty. I I can actually see that. Um, I try my hardest to keep my eyes trained on her face just her face oh hannah stop you perverted thing you i haven't even paid attention to body types yet <laughs> and i'm supposed to be the pervert god damn it jasmine sighs yes i'm a stripper oh oh no uh, i'd rather not have brought it up since i know how it sounds but it's good money i mean it might be good money but uh, I don't know, man. It's none of the sleazy stuff like you might think. Well, unless you want that. I mean, I mean, what, what, what do you mean? It's strictly dancing. I mean, I don't know if I can believe you. <laughs> what? What's? Uh, what's to be ashamed about? It's a job. I show up at a set time. I have a set of rules I have to follow. I get paid. I go home. And I mean, like. Uh, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, ah. here's Conixus spouting his views, even though he's a fucking pervert or whatever. But it's like, there's nothing wrong with stripping. Personally, I, uh, I, I, I'm just saying, like, you know, there's nothing wrong with stripping. Not wrong with that at all. Like, you gotta do what you gotta do, then do it, man. But like. Ah! If this is a dating sim, I don't know about that. <laughs> Your boy could be the uh a jealous type. I don't want my girl showing her body to other people. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? So you know, like the people who do like the cam stuff and stuff like that, or like photo shoots half naked. It's like I can't have a girlfriend like that, man. I'm gonna get jealous as fuck. People talk about I would. Fuck your wife! Like, no! None of that! I would rather not go on and see all them comments about people wanting to rail my wife. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. Like, uh, it's a gray area. Like I said, nothing wrong with it, but it's just like, your boy, he's like a little like, well, I don't like people talking about my my girl like that. I don't talk about fucking my girl. Like, what, what are you talking about? You want to get your teeth knocked in? But, uh, I, I don't know, man. 
I'm a little tilted. <laughs> I liked you, and now I'm not sure. Uh, what's to be ashamed about it? Oh, yeah, I read that. Uh, standard employment skills. Sophie is practically in fits. Well, I think you certainly have a valuable insight for an underwear store. Like, how to... Uh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> like, how to best take it off? Jasmine doesn't even crack a smile. This is getting out of hand. Uh, I have a question. Apparently, emboldened by Sophie's joke, Charlotte waves her hand around. You still haven't really explained why you have on a college uniform. Oh. That's just for the school theme night we're having. Oh. They, they, they got that schoolgirl fetish, huh? Oof. Oof. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I was going to change into something else, but even my casual clothes are... Oh, l l let me reword it. Let me reword it, actually. Like, if you're doing, like, pictures and photo shoots of, like, cosplay and shit... Ah, 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 that's 100% fine. Like, no, like, uh, like let, let me clear myself before anyone gets the wrong idea of that. Like, I'm talking about, like, half-naked, just covering the nips type of pictures on the internet type shit. Like, if you're clothed, at least on, like, a bra or something on, like, cosplay or something like that, eh, that's totally 100% fine. I can date a girl like that, eh, that's fine with me. As long as she ain't going to show the goodies to other people like that. But, like, if you're, like, half-naked, the only thing you have covering you is your hands themselves, then nah, nah. <laughs> uh, that's the kind of photo shoots that I'm like, hey, now. No, 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 and then stripping you're all, you're getting naked man like I, I don't want my girls goodies to be seen by anyone but myself and I mean you know like uh, it, it, it's uh, oof, uh, that's a topic man I mean I don't know that's just how I feel like I, I mean some people are fine with that sort of thing but it's just like I don't want my girl going to show her tits or her puss off to some other people like like, what? I don't know, man. I, I just don't feel right like that. I, I just feel like you're getting cucked by doing that. The girl's off showing her stuff to other people, and I mean, yeah, you're dating her. She won't give them it, but it's still like, you know. Uh, I don't know, man. Like I say, you gotta do what you gotta do, but in a dating situation, it's kind of. Uh, I don't know. Um. Because I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna have to date one of these girls, so. Uh, I mean, I liked you, but I don't know about that stripping stuff, man. I was going to change into something else, but even my casual clothes aren't exactly fit for interview, so... Oh. 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 Ah. <laughs> so you have a body like that, and you hide it under a college uniform for an interview? Guarantee hire in an underwear store, right? Sh should we have dressed down a little? I really didn't think about that. No, being professional is important no matter where you work. A uniform is fine. Please don't start undressing. Yeah, I mean, you, you can't really talk because in another world, you did and you did some stuff, man. Anyways, so is Jasmine your real name? Yeah, is it? <laughs> yes, of course. Wow, that. Anyway, uh, this isn't the most traditional interview process, is it? I have some more questions for you to answer. Uh... What? <laughs> what? I mean, I guess you could ask that for like the... Do we have a work uniform? Like, there's that apron fit all sizes. Uh, I don't know. What attracted you to work here? I mean... I, I, I feel like asking this is pushing them boundaries, but... You know we gotta make that... That... That, that good old save. Uh, I don't know this one. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, what attracted you to work here? I look at Charlotte following the orders we established. Oh, I got a new item in my inventory. Isn't that nice? Anyways. Oh, um. She shifts uncomfortably. I saw the sign and I just... She seems like the timid type, so maybe she could have a lighter voice. <coughs> Let's see. Well, I need a job, and... She sounds like she's about to fall apart under the question. I guess it is a stupid question, isn't it? She wants a job because she needs money. It's not exactly a cosmic stroke of fate or anything. I've applied to a few places recently, but I thought an underwear store sounded interesting. 
I'm pretty good with people and helping out with tasks. And I thought, being a girl... Hey, man. <laughs> I just thought of something. <laughs> like... Hmm... I, I wish I knew if there was like a text log. I really wanna go back and read it. Let me, I'm gonna just press some buttons again. Probably fuck up the game again. Just remember not to press the goddamn F. Uh, so far, so good. Uh... Uh, oh, I saved a screenshot, apparently. Uh, don't know which button that was. Uh, it's like no... No, no not self-voicing. Shush! <laughs> oh. That's skip mode. Uh, I guess there is no text log. That sucks. Uh, huh, I wish there was, because... I don't know, anyways. And I thought, being a girl... Um, that has to be a plus for a women's lingerie store, right? You are a girl, right? You know, now that I think about it, you got the lowest of the three. You're not a trap, are you? Because, oh boy, this is going to get interesting to a point that I didn't even think it would be. But this is Yuri, so that one shouldn't be possible. I don't know, man. I know it's not very good reasoning. No, it's fine. Uh, honest and straightforward can be a good quality. I don't know if she's honest. She she seems the most suspicious out of everyone here. Uh, she came in all suspicious, and now she's here all suspicious. Sophie, you already sort of mentioned your reasoning. No, I didn't. Uh, you said you were forced to. What? I told you why I showed up for the interview. I didn't tell you why I wanted to take the job. Okay, go ahead then. This stuff is pretty much my dream job. Working... Uh, oh yeah, I was about to say, wait, is that me or... Um, that's Jasmine. Uh, let's see here. Uh, working in an underwear store? No, no, designing lingerie. Designing lingerie? I mean, we don't do that, do we? Ah, uh, and we went to this college because they happened to have a fashion design study. So when I figured out what... Oh god, this place is... It all clicked. Did I even say was it sound like I just kinda... Anyways, you mean like... Like a cosmic strut of fate. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, working here could give me a really relevant experience. Keeping me on my toes about the current trends and what uh, that woman wants. Uh, I think it's a great opportunity, so don't make the mistake of thinking I'm gonna turn my nose up at it. I'm already in it to win it. Well, that certainly wasn't expected from her. Yeah. Thank you, Sophie. Jasmine, what about you? What attracted you to this position? Nothing that in depth. I wanted to get off the night shift at my job, and since it's a similar field, I do know a lot about lingerie. <clears throat> so it just made me uh, made sense. This place ticked every box. I have experienced suitable hours and opportunity for fun. That's a pretty fancy way of saving you literally work in your underwear. Oh, saying, oh, wait, is this me? No, Sophie. Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta remember. The boxes will change, but the names I gotta pay attention to, so Sophie. That's a pretty fancy way of saying you literally work in your underwear. <sighs> hey, I don't blame you. If this doesn't work out, maybe I'll take your job at the club. Oh, ah, sounds like my kind of party. Oh, uh, do guys really pay for your drinks all night long? Do you always ask obnoxious questions to strangers? Uh, neither, uh, uh, that's neither here nor there. I hear it's really watered down or actually juice. Been studying for your stripper degree too? It's just something I heard. Um, uh, mm, hey now. Uh, uh, you're, 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 the more you talk, the more questionable you become. Uh, this is getting out of hand again. Uh, time to break it up. All right, thank you for sharing, Jasmine. How about each of you ask, uh, now how about each of you ask me a question about the position? Oh, uh, what's the pay like? 
Ah, uh, well, the standard rate... Oh, that, that's low. It's lower than where I work. Fucking hell. Anyways, uh, well, the standard starting rate will be eight fifty an hour with a raise after your first 90 days. When does the shop usually open? At 9 a.m. on Tuesdays through Friday, 10.30 a.m. on Monday mornings. Oh, boy. Who put that into place? Someone who doesn't like Monday mornings, I expect. Please tell me you're keeping that policy. I am. I'm not the owner of the store, so I won't be changing the store hours too much. Not permanently, at least. Does anyone else work here? Not presently. We usually run just fine with only two employees and then additional help during the holiday seasons. Valentine's Day must be a real killer, hmm. You have no idea. I hope to. Alright, alright. There's a few more questions. Take Charlotte's resume and skim and get some ideas from. I was the only one who had to fill out the paperwork? Ah. Each of the girls stand look and look at me waiting. Yeah, you 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 uh you guys didn't get to. The time has come, hasn't it? Oh, I have to choose someone! I, I kind of did that backwards. I have to choose someone! There we go. Uh, right? I don't know, man! <laughs> oh, this is really uncomfortable. Are they really making puppy dog eyes at me, or is it just my guilty conscience? I mean, actually, to get a good idea of each of your strengths and skills, why don't we do a trial? Um, yeah, do a trial week. I was about to say, good, I can't decide after this little bit. I need more info! Because <laughs> uh, even now, I was like, originally I was going to pick her, but then the stripper thing is like, ah, I don't know, man. But, uh, <laughs> if it gets her out of her stripper job, then hell yeah, I'll go with her. But then it's like, this girl seemed interesting, but then she got all suspicious and you, I don't even know about you. You're, you Anyways, all of you will stay on for a week to learn the trade, get some experience, and then we can make the choice. How does that sound? I hope Emily doesn't mind. But if she wants me to pick Sophie, and one of the other girls is actually more qualified, I want to have good reasons to show her. A week should... Uh, a week should... Yeah, I thought so. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> so there probably was a second the there when I thought so before. Because it should be a week should be, not should me. <laughs> a week should me <laughs> more than enough time to get a good read on the girls, right? I hope so. Uh, the girls exchange glances. Um, I never heard of anything like this, but I'm fine with it, I suppose. Sophie shrugs. Yeah, whatever. Will we be getting paid, though? I'll discuss it with the owner, but I think she'd be fine with partial wage and then bumping it up to our standard full wage if you get the job. I'm fine with it. I am sure I can... Uh, let's see. I am sure I can work it out with my current manager... Uh, oh no, I didn't see a comma. My current manager is very reasonable and pushed me to go for this. Really? That was very enlightened of him. Are you not that, uh, are you not great at your, um, <clears throat> other job then? I'm perfectly good, thanks. Wanna... P I mean, if you don't mind, <laughs> sure! <laughs> Oh, oh, wait, is this actually going to be a thing? Okay, uh, uh, I was about to say, wait a minute. Uh, no, no, that's fine. Sophie was just joking, I'm sure. At least I don't have to break any hearts today. Can you all start tomorrow? Each of the girls nod. Good, I'll expect you here by 9 a.m. then. I'll look forward to it. Uh, well, no, that is still me. I forgot when my sprite is there, it's me. I, I hope at least. <laughs> I look forward to it. I'll see you then. Yeah, like if they got like sprites, then it'd be easy for me to differentiate because you got to start over here so I notice it right there. Night. See ya. 
Jasmine nods to me as she leads, following the others out. Watch somebody's gonna say their comments. Because you asked Jasmine about her job, you fucked up her route, and now you can't get her her good ending and stuff like that. I don't even know if there's, like, endings or, like, what. I mean, each route has to have an ending, but I don't know if it's, like, good, bad, or strange, or what. But anyways, um, that was really unorthodox, wasn't it? But hey, at least I got to work with really cute girls for the rest of the week. Oh, yeah. That's something, right? Yeah, that's uh, always good, man. Uh, I pull the help one sign out of the window on my way out. Oh, boy. Ooh, what a day. I really need to get a good night's sleep for tomorrow. Ooh, that was loud. Ah, new day dawns. Well, today's the big day. Three new starters. Oh, baby! Uh, my phone vibrates loudly in my bag just as I finish opening up the shop and letting the sunlight flood in. A bright new day. Hmm? Oh, Emily. Hello? I forgot to tell her! Yeah, I was, about to, I was just about to ask. Did you tell your boss about the three-way work thing? Anyways. I was so tired last night. I just went straight to bed. Uh, hello? Hannah! Darling! Sophie mentioned to her mother what a hit the interview process was. And I hear she wasn't the only one you picked up either. Um, no, I decided to give all three of the candidates a trial just briefly, just for the week. Ah, yes, we do think just alike, don't we? Y you plan for this too? Uh, what? No, of course not. <laughs> but this is very much like my style. I dated like that for years. Oh. Uh, yeah. Just yesterday, I had breakfast and dinner paid for me by two different men. All I had to do was sit through listening to them. Once you get enough wine in you, that's easy. Or even that's easy. <laughs> anyway, dear, I don't want to keep you. I know you'll be busy, busy. Keep that sound running for me. Or shop running for me. Why did I say sound? <laughs> and do say hello to your new friends for me, won't you? Ta-ta now. Oh boy. I'm starting to get the distinct impression that Emily doesn't care one way or another what happens. Yeah, uh, maybe, I think she's too focused on dating. Maybe Karen was the one who was keeping this place in such good shape. It's almost nine, the girls will be getting here soon. I better get everything ready. You know, I was just about to say the first person here gets the job. <laughs> and look at that! My girl shows up first! <laughs> I was really expecting the 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 questionable one to show up first. The the, the, the what's her face? Uh already Charlotte! I was expecting her to show up first. Oh god, but good morning. Jasmine! I'm surprised you're the first one <laughs> I am too! <laughs> I really wasn't expecting her to be first. Oh my god. Charlotte has to be second. If, uh, what's her face? Jasmine is next, then. Oh, Charlotte, you have disappointed me. Anyways, I'm surprised you're the first one here. You're used to the night shifts, aren't you? Mm, I'll adjust. Oh, besides, I always have my coffee. I saw Sophie on my way here. She should be here soon. What's she, um, wait, did I just read the, uh, no, wait, no, she's Jasmine, what am I talking, Sophie, yeah, Sophie's the one, I, I, I gotta remember names, man, like, they're such common names, they're not like our, our usual weeb names that we have to deal with, like, in other visual, well, you owe me done, Sunrider, but like, you know, names like Asaga and Sola and Chigara, like, ah, that's easy to stick to a person, but normal names like these, it's gonna be hard to stick them to people. Uh, what was she doing? Um, she was either looking for something or throwing up in the bushes. The fuck? Uh, I didn't stop to ask. Uh, the door chime interrupts us. Oh, well, there you go, you're second. I mean, if you were last, uh, I'd be very disappointed in you. I'm kind of disappointed you weren't first, but hey. Hello. We made it. You're not ill, are you, Sophie? She blinks at me. What? Jasmine said she thought you might be sick. Don't worry, I wouldn't skip out on the first day. You gotta wait at least until after your lunch break. Didn't you learn anything in high school, Jazz Hands? Besides, how... Besides how to take your top off, I mean. Oh, damn. 
doing my girl dirty. Anyway, Sophie! Uh, it's fine, Hannah. I put up with worse. Oh. Well, like, that's what- that's- that's like another thing, like, she seems like an innocent girl, but when you do stuff like that, you're gonna get labeled horribly. Uh, like, it's like, uh, that's why I kinda wanna give her the job, so she doesn't have to strip anymore, but it's like, fucking hell. Uh, doesn't mean you should have to. Not in my store. Uh, you're not off to an especially good start, Sophie. Yeah, don't, don't make fun of people. That's not nice. Anyways, she's the one who said I wouldn't show. Uh, because I thought you were losing your breakfast in the bushes. What else were you doing leaning over them like that? It's a little presumptuous. Uh, I mean, what were you doing? Um, did she just pull out the word presumptuous? Then what exactly were you doing? Trying to coax out a stray cat so I could feed it the rest of my bacon and egg biscuit. Oh. Uh, well. Yeah, I bet you uh, feel like a real jerk now. I mean, not really. She was just asking you a simple question. You were the one who was so... And thanks for offering to hold my hair back, by the way. What is happening? Uh... I should have brought, uh, yeah, a referee shirt. I... All right, that's enough. I, I, I'm confused. Anyways, <laughs> I put my hands and my hips puffing up. You're about to be officially on the clock, and you have to leave all this nonsense at the door. Got it? Sophie salutes. Oh wait, no, <laughs> I read that as her. Sophie salutes. <laughs> oh, Captain, my Captain. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Of course. Huh, well, Charlotte, you didn't exactly do any- Yeah, you're- you're- you're the only one who hasn't done anything, so you're good. Anyways, but- What color are your eyes? Are they red? Uh, uh, about to say, you look like no sea of mine if they're like green. Uh, but anyways, uh, but good, everyone's on the same page. Now, when you get in first thing in the morning, you have to give yourself time to get the shop open. You come in, turn on the lights, check till I put money in for that. What? You come in, turn on the lights, check the till. What the hell's the till? <gasps> oh God! <laughs> put and put money in for the till float. Well, what the hell is the till? Well, what is that? I don't know what that is. Is that something everyone should commonly know? Or is that like a ticket thing? Like, whoa, whoa, what the hell's a till? <laughs> Anyways, uh, the floats and safe are up here in the office. I pick up the float I already prepared. Wasn't there a box of, like, sex toys under the table? Anyways, uh, <laughs> we then take this to the register. The shop door stays locked until it's in the till. What is the till? Uh, I, I, uh, I walk them through each step and the basics of how to operate the register. Um, Charlotte looks absolutely intimidated by the thing. Don't worry, I'll show you firsthand how it works. I won't leave you to it until I'm sure you le uh, have the hang of it. She gives a relieved sigh. Thanks, I'll try to pick up on it quickly. After the register is set up and ready to go, the rest is mostly maintenance. Cleaning up around the shop, tidying displays, and cleaning out the bathrooms are all part of the day to day. Alright, despite the simplicity of it, I show them firsthand and let them each do a task since we have to do it this morning. <sighs> oh, I didn't even see two. <laughs> Sophie holds up some of the underwear. This is so cute. Oh my god. Sophie, you're supposed to be fixing things, not messing with them. Charlotte grabs it from her to tuck the pair of polka dotted underwear back into place. It's alright, I see this stuff day in and day out, but it's still new to you all. You can admire. I remember I did when I first started. Uh huh. Please tell me, uh. I'm not sure if that was too light or... Please, tell me there are employee discounts. There won't be a point to working here at all if not. I'll just spend my whole paycheck in the store. I know what you mean. I'm sure we can work something out. 
You won't find any of the physical things you have to do here. Overly intense, I hope. Uh, after a while, it simply becomes muscle memory. Assisting customers is the bulk of the day. Let's see, is there anything else you need to know? I tap my lip trying to come up with anything else about the basics of running the shop. Ah! <clears throat> Jesus. As someone who's been here a long time, everything just seems so natural, yeah. Huh, someone always has to be at the register, of course. The other person should be working the sales floor and restocking the shelves. With four of us here, I'm sure some of the work will overlap, but that just means we'll be running the shop at top efficiency. Does it get very busy? Sometimes, but mostly before holidays. The busiest we get is if a large group come in together. Packs of women roaming the savannah in search of pretty underwear. Sounds formidable. What about lunch? <clears throat> Charlotte's stomach growls for all of us to hear as if echoing the question, Jesus. Uh, I didn't have time for breakfast. We close up the shop for lunch break between 12 and 1. Oh, that's not too far. But I probably should have mentioned this yesterday. The day was meant to be trading for you all, and it's also the first Tuesday of the month. That's delivery day when we get a new shipment of products in. The delivery truck comes in at the morning, and then we restock and open at 1. So we don't really get a break for lunch. Oh, Tuesday we don't eat. <laughs> oh, I see. That's fine. I can manage. Um, I don't want her to go hungry. I know it's miserable just waiting for lunch, and more so if you're not going to get one. Charlotte's so tiny anyway. She looks like she might just wither away. Uh, just a minute. I think we might have something upstairs in the office. This is all I could find. I really should restock that. I hold out a granola bar, uh, the granola bars that we had squirreled away. I'm not picky. Thank you so much. She's very accepting of things. That's why she's suspicious. Why are you so accepting of everything? Jasmine and Sophie take one too. I'll save mine for later. Sophie bites into hers eagerly. This isn't much, but hopefully it'll tide you over till then. And with so many of you here, you can take individual lunches. There's no harm in that. I won't have anyone going hungry on my watch. Now follow me to the back. I'll show you where the truck comes in. Well, these things have been clean this episode. <laughs> oh boy. When the truck gets here, we'll open up the door and unload it. I only need one person to help me with that. The other two can take the boxes into the storeroom and start restocking the displays. Everything is sorted by brand, size, and color. It shouldn't be too difficult to figure out what goes where, or where things go. Um, you think you can handle that? They each nod. Um, which one is Sophie again? Fuck. Uh, that one! <laughs> Who's staying behind to help with unloading the boxes? I gotta choose! Uh, I mean, ah! Uh, ah, uh, I mean, well. I said first come, first serve, so. Now I gotta remember the names. <laughs> oh, I know that one's so sharp. So, Jasmine, you can stay. Jasmine, would you mind? Yeah, you were the first one here, so you're the first one to work. Uh, you probably have more upper body strength that. I don't know if you're saying that because of the pole dancing or. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. God damn it. I knew that joke was going to be implemented somehow. God damn it. Yeah, it takes a lot to work a pole. Damn. You realize that means I could probably crush your head between my thighs. Ooh, I, oof, don't get me started. I'll go, but never mind. Anyways, ah, kinky, oh, I'd be happy to help. I, it shouldn't be a problem, or any problem. Oh boy, great. Oh, there it is, like clockwise. The truck beeps as it backs up toward the building, grumbling to a halt. Okay, we'll get the first couple of boxes. Sophie and Charlotte can start restocking. 
You remember how things are ordered, right? Everything is sorted by brand, style, color, uh, style, color, and size. A plus. I knew too. Give me an uh, give me extra. Uh, oh, that's Sophie. Fuck. <laughs> I, I, I gotta look at the names, man. I knew too. Give me an extra credit question. It was a one question quiz. Your extra credit could be how well you restock the shelves. Good luck. All right, all right. I'll get the door. Well, let's do this. I slide open the with. <gasps> God damn it! It slides open with a clatter to reveal the truck right on time. I try to get this cleared out quickly. I start wrestling with some of the boxes, digging my nails under them, and pulling them up. It hits the store shelf with a dull thud, my arms already aching. I turn around and nearly tip over a new stack of boxes that have materialized. Oh. I glance up. Jasmine's bringing out another two at the same time. I watch her with a silent awe as she moves easily, sliding the boxes into place. My girl, strong. I hope here's okay. Y yeah, that's great. Put it in gear, Hannah. Uh, you're getting shown up by the new girl on her first day. Yeah, haven't you been doing this all this time? You're still weak, my girl. Uh, hustle. I trot back across to the truck. She picks up another box. This isn't too hard at all. We'll be done in no time. Yeah, we really will. I mimic the action, hefting up another box and carrying it to the storeroom. My arms start to burn. My girl, you need to work out. <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not in shape, but at least I can pick up some boxes. I mean, I do that in, uh, I done that in my old job. So it's like, come on, man. I'll be picking up like four boxes at once. Your boy's strong as shit. Anyways, I think Jasmine's going to have to do the most work here after all. Okay, just a couple more trips. That's all it's going to take. Come on, Hannah, you can do this. I haul one of the bo um, last boxes off the truck, then turn to look for more, just to double check. And done. I spin around. The door slams shut, only inches from my face. Oh, uh, it scrapes against my chest before I have the sense to stumble back from it. Ankles wobbling as I lose my balance. Jasmine stands there in shock. Uh, oh, no, no, that, I, she said my name. I thought she made a noise. And I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were still at the door. I'm fine, but... Oh, we can't show that. That, 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 that's a nipple thing right there. Wait, damn, that, that, that fucked up my chest. <laughs> it, it ripped my thing and now my nipple exposed. I glance around, wondering why it feels like there's a weird breeze. Jasmine's hands clamp over her mouth. What? Oh, my avatar's clothes are ripped too, but at least it don't show the nipple. <laughs> Finally, my eyes trail downward. Ah! My clothes! What? How did... I feel like I just got punched in the boobs. <laughs> I really didn't mean for that to happen. I got a little overexcited about being finished, and... I could have seriously hurt you. Isn't she even remotely confused? I just flashed her. Uh, or, well, no, I suppose she wouldn't be. She's, uh, she should be rather used to naked girls. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 is, that is true. That is, that, is, that is true. Anyways, are you all right? You're not bleeding, are you? She moves in closer. No, I'm fine. Barely scraped. I think it just hurt my clothes more than anything. And my dignity, but let's admit it. It was already... Oh, that was already on life support. Yeah, <laughs> I cover up quickly. My pride stringing just says uh, my chest, which is turning an unflattering red. Oh, boy. Go inside. I'll bring you something to wear uh, into the bathroom, okay? I give her a grateful nod as I hurry out. <sighs> Safe and sound. Oh, my boob isn't exposed anymore. <laughs> or my nipple isn't exposed. I look mournfully over the remains of my suit. Poor thing. It lived a good and long life. And my bra. Though, let's be honest, that lacy thing was never going to stand up to some real wear and tear. Not that it was at risk of encountering much of that. This train of thought got weirdly depressing. Yeah, here you go. 
Uh, I wasn't sure. Uh, I wasn't sure what to get you, so I sort of picked it out of my own taste. There aren't any regular clothes out here either. Do you need me to run to a shop and buy you something? I'm so busy staring at the pair of lingerie, I almost forget to answer. No, I have something. In the locker there, by the entrance, I'll get it in a moment. I peel off the remains of the suit, which is falling apart faster every minute. Oh boy, wait, 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 hold on a second. Uh, oh, about to say she, where, 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 where's my, is there, but not there, but no, it's just really low. Uh, anyways, I mean, I guess there's no harm in showing that, there's nothing naked. And, and my poor destroyed undies, your underwears are, oh, that, that's a butt. Oh, that's, that's a naked, never mind. <laughs> I just noticed that she's completely naked! Ah, oh, damn it! Uh, I don't usually wear things this nice, admittedly. But, uh, oh, but working here, I thought. No, I just don't have an occasion for it, I suppose. Maybe I'm giving away too much. That's not very professional, Hannah. Uh, I still have to get my clothes. Oh, that, that, that is some spicy wear. Oof. Uh... Sorry, I'll just be a second. Oh, wow. Uh, I just need... Whoa! Oh, crap. Sophie whistles. Oh. Uh, what's going on here? Should we come back later? There was a slight wardrobe malfunction. What kind of points are you racking up on the first day, Jasmine? Already undressing her in the back room? Clearly, I should have volunteered for that job. It's not anything like that! She knows what happened, I told them. She's just being stupid for the sake of it. As usual. Are you okay, Hannah? You weren't hurt, were you? I'm fine, Charlotte. Um, I just need to get my clothes. Wait. Stay like that. Come here, both of you. Uh, well, what's going on here? Where are we going? She gives me a confused look as she follows Sophie out of the room. What's happening? I don't know, man. <laughs> Why do I have to stay half naked? <laughs> this is a test to so... Wait, is this a test so they can see how long they can make me stand around in my underwear? Even if it's nice underwear. What are they doing out there? I hear giggles and a slight squeal. Um, let's just hope they're not trashing the place or stealing from the register. Oh, boy. I probably should have done background checks or something. Yeah? Yeah, you should have. <laughs> the voices grow closer again. Oh, well, they're coming back. Ta-da! Oh, it's got... Oh, my girls was good! <laughs> what is good? We, we got ourselves a... <laughs> uh, what is this? Hmm, aren't we, aren't we cleavage? Wait, what? <laughs> aren't we cleavage? <laughs> Sorry, what did you say? I said, aren't we clever? Uh, hey now, uh, don't you like it? <laughs> um, hey now, <laughs> I read that right, what? Uh, anyways, uh, whew. <laughs> so, whew. And Sophie is something of a genius, I think. She just doesn't like to show it. Uh. Don't think I didn't notice that shade. Subtle, but still shade. What? Hannah, you look a little faint. Are you sure you're okay? I... They all look so good. Hell yeah! <laughs> Anyways, I don't even know what to think. I can't think. Have I died and gone to lesbian? <laughs> oh! Oh! Lesbian heaven, huh? I mean, I'm a noob, but can I get an invite? I'm fine with watching, man. <laughs> God damn it. What have I died and gone to lesbian heaven? Where I can finally have my sexuality realize? Oh, I'm going to... T what? I, I, I mean... I what? <laughs> I mean, there's no shame in being that. What do you mean to have it realized? Just go out and do your thing, my girl. B be proud. Be you. Uh, anyways, I'm going to take that expression on your face as a question and not a sign that you're about to pass out, okay? So try to listen. I had this brilliant idea. 
I saw how hella you looked in lingerie, and I kind it kind of hit me. Why don't we all showcase a little product while we're out on the show floor? I mean, I mean, that that's a spicy ass store, man. Walking around in lingerie for your uniform. I don't know about that. That's a little too spicy for a store. Uh, you know how many people would just be staring in the store just to see that? Like, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> I mean, it is a lingerie store. I mean, that's a good idea, but at the same time, you got those people who will just stare through the window. Who's going to get offended by seeing some lingerie in motion in here? Uh, no one, but, you know, when you're looking this good, uh, you're gonna garner a lot of unnecessary attention. Uh, right? She gives a twirl before Uh, what is that? Setting between the two girls again. Uh, so how about it? It may increase sales, I think. How did she even convince the others to do this? Uh, that's my question, too. Well, what do you think? I think, do I get to choose? How does this work? How does that work again? My eyes roam over them, a blush pooling behind my cheeks. This is, uh, unexpected. Uh, but we have work aprons. It could be a good eye. Let me say it before I make some stupid choice. I mean... <sighs> I feel like... I feel like this game is gonna teach you not to be a pervert. You gotta choose all the clean answers to get a good and nice ending, and if you choose all the bad ones, you're gonna get, like, some fucked up ending or some shit. But I guess we're about to find out now, aren't we? It could be a good idea! <laughs> what am I saying? Of course it's a bad idea. What? Girls running around in laundry while they work? Yeah, I know it's a bad idea, man. Uh, I twist my hand- wait, did, what, did it say a bad idea, or am I just high? Uh, let me see. Uh... It could be a good idea, but we have work paper. Yeah, it could be a good idea. Uh, I twist my hands together as they lean in. I know you're considering it. Come on, who can say no to this? Uh, I don't think anyone. Uh, it would make work a lot more fun. Uh, I, 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 I'm sorry I take a second. I gotta keep looking at the name to switch the voice. I'm so used to like colors or indications, but I have to look at the little name that changes. Um, Jasmine is that one. Okay. I'm pretty sh uh, much used to this kind of thing anyway. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. You don't have a problem with a lot of things, which concerns me. Uh, well, I should say no, but you're gonna say yes. I should say no. Uh, oh, oh, why isn't it continuing? But then it just did. Okay. Cool, Hannah. Great job. Uh, really? Toby punches the air. All right. I told you guys it was a great idea. I really didn't think she'd go for it. Yes. Uh, that 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 was a fuck up. Yes. Uh, I don't know, man. I gotta. It's hard switching between the voices. I gotta keep looking. Uh, <laughs> You'll, you'll wear lingerie too, right? I don't know. You don't have a boyfriend who get jealous or anything, do you? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Did I not bring up this topic before? I mean... I mean, like this, it, it don't matter, man. I mean, like this, it, this is fine. It's a lingerie store. Unless dudes are coming in and staring at you, that's where the problem comes. This is a lingerie store. Lingerie. <laughs> so mostly females will be shopping here, but my girl Hannah's a lesbian, so she don't got no boyfriend to worry about. So you know how it is. Uh, but I assume the rest of them are too, or bi, or something. I don't know, man. Uh, maybe we're gonna turn them lesbian. Uh, uh, no, I don't. But I hadn't actually thought about going around the store like this too. Um, I guess I can give it a try. That's the, uh, that's, no, that's too light. That's the spirit. This is exciting. But, uh, how are we going to go to lunch? Should we put our clothes back on? Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure you should do that for lunch, I sigh. I'll order a pizza. Oh. Oh. Wait a sec. Wait, 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 wait a second. <laughs> I, I'm about to say, is that the slip one where you can see the nip? But no, it's just skin. There's no nip or areola, so it's all good. Let me just take a look at the low oil, baby. Anyways, uh, surprisingly, Jasmine's is the least, like, over-sexualized. Like, theirs are, like, sexualized. Look at that. 
a little bit covering that. I don't know if, I, I mean, it should be fine, but hey, man, uh, questions. Anyways, all right, let's get started. Oh, that was Sophie. Anyways, uh, they practically dragged me out on the, to the sales floor. Yay, uh, um, I gotta, yay, uh, <coughs> God damn it. Yay, first day, first day. Lunch put everyone in an even better mood, apparently. Uh, this is so strange. I feel naked. Well, you kind of are in a sense. That makes sense. You are mostly naked. Yeah. Uh, don't mind her. She'll change her mind. You look great, Hannah. So what comes next? Uh, I need one person on the register with me so I can show you how it works with in more detail and what to do with the occasional error. The other two can work the sales floor. Consult with customers, tidy up after people, the usual. That sort of thing. So, who wants to work the register with me? Can I? Sure thing, Jasmine. I was about to say, do I have to choose and I'll be on a route? Or did my first initial choice put me on a route? But since she offered, I guess maybe I'm on her route now. I don't know if that has, how it works, but hey, man. Anyways. Ah! Oh my god, I got something on my throat. That hurt. Anyways, um... I don't quite remember what I was going to say, but, uh... Charlotte, Sophie, do you mind? Not at, um, not at all. I'm not going to argue with somebody who already handles money in their underwear for a living. Oh, damn. So, this is your expertise, boss. She gives Jasmine a feigned salute. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm, I'm getting sick, man. So sorry if I keep doing that. But anyways, Charlotte and I can charm all the customers well enough, can't we? Yep, no problem. All right then, let's open. Her husband stays with me at the register, but the shop is off to a slow start. That's not unusual on days when we open late. Jasmine glances around us at all the lingerie sets and busts we have on display throughout the store. She hums lightly in admiration. There are so many options. How do you even choose? Oh, close my eyes and point, I suppose? Not a bad strategy, from the look of it. What do you usually pick? What? Underwear types, I mean. What's your favorite type of panties? Bikini cut! <laughs> ah, thongs. Lacy underwear. Lacy undies. Ah, I don't know, man. <laughs> I gotta think about this. Why, why, why do I usually... Hmm, thongs. I mean, they're not bad. I mean, bikini cuts. Uh, oh, hmm. Lacy undies. Hmm. 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 Uh, I'll go with some lacy undies. Oh? That doesn't surprise me. Huh, because I work here? Oh no, because you would look great in them. Oh, thank you! I appreciate that, my girl! <laughs> she gives a little grin. Oh! <laughs> They're my favorite, too. They're just something super sexy about sheer lace, you know? All panties have their merits, but lingerie? It just brings completely a completely different mood. I think I'd rather get lacy under things. Really? Mm-hmm. It's an addiction, really. I probably shouldn't even work here. I'm just feeling, uh, feeding the ha a habit. It's a good habit to have. It means you always have clean underwear. Uh, I, I guess. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't just wash them, but, you know, I guess buying new ones helps, too. Uh, I mean, there's nothing wrong with buying new ones, but if you're constantly buying new ones, like, every single day, you know, it's like... You can rewash your old ones, man. <laughs> I don't know, man. What what was that comment? Anyways. <laughs> oh, wait. Jesus Christ. We're already at like an hour. I don't want to make these crazy things go that long. So let's just save there. I'm going to record another episode because I'm now getting into this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and save to your favorite social share with your friends. This is Big Connections. You can follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description below. At least this episode, we didn't have too much spice. So nothing to blur except that little nibble. Anyways, I think her naked. Yeah, she was naked, so we have to blur that. But anyways, thank you all for watching. I'd like you all to see you all in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.